And now, live from the SOM Studios. Fans, welcome to 505 Live. I am Jeff Klepper here once again with Prince Malik. Malik, last week, what a week of action that we had. My God. First of all, Condry coming out and challenging your guy, the Sultan, yeah, to an happened. Inferno match. Inferno. Like I said, if he wants to play with fire, he's already been burned already a couple times. I mean, why would he want to do it more? But anyway... That was one of the things that happened. That was one of the things. Also, we know that, that Draco and RT3 yeah. laid down the gauntlet to the Texas Trap House telling them that they wanted those tag titles and were coming for them. Well, and the Trap House, they said they're going to do it on their own terms, right? I mean, they wanted to do it at the end of the show. I mean, they wanted to do it right then. But the Trap House, they put ice on it, right? So when will that take place, Malik? Well, they were talking about the 29th, right? So there's a lot going on in the 29th here at the Chucky Dome. Absolutely. Here, here at, in, at the School of Morton, you can see us on our YouTube. But on October 29th, we are going to have a night of action here for you guys. We got the Dooleys versus the Amish. Yeah. We've got apparently we uh, now have possibly a tag team title match. We know that the hybrid champ will most likely be in action but fans, before we do anything else, how about we get to our first match and what a match well, it's going to be? I see that it's 5:05, so it's past 5:05. It so is. It. it is absolutely past 5:05, oh, and here we go. go. You see the Chucky Dom's getting improvements here. Look at there, the new trap house. There, that looks great. Well, Texas is number one, baby. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by the young pit bull, he is one half of the East Tennessee Tag Team Champion, Dirty Daddy. So, you know, if, any, if they would have done that, you would have said they stole it, right? I probably would have. Yeah, so, correct. so uh, and technically, their belts were, hey, wait a minute. How about this for a match for you to start off 5 Is that what we're starting with? Wow. And his opponent, Draco! So I guess as the trap house would say, Malik, He's got all the ice. <laughs> well, he definitely does, but, you know, technically, I guess if the police wanted to get involved, he stole the ice hey, you, along uh, with RT3. Potato, potato, pal. Tomato, they tomato. They would have stole right? it from them. They came out. But you know what? Hey, titles. you and I both know that SOM is a tag team. Our always will be. Sake, the yep. school Correct. of Morton. So we know that, that the Rock and Roll Express played a huge part in finding this match. Ring the bell. Our little ring beller went to a school. He just went to ring belling school there, and that's good. And this match is underway. Malik, what about this one right here? I mean, this is a main five event. Oh five live. Draco versus Dirty Daddy. And uh, like, there's definitely no love lost in this one. No, not at all. Neither one, neither man getting the advantage yet. Dirty's got him in the corner. Referee's getting in between them. Oh, a clean. No. Oh, yeah. oh. He, he flinched a little there. He flinched. It. He made him flinch, but obviously. Hey, speaking of the obvious, let's not point out the obvious. Draco's everybody. by himself out here Draco tonight. Draco is by. I did and, notice that. Draco uh, is by the trap himself. Trap House is, of course, in, in effect. And Brandon Moore is out here with Dirty Daddy. We've Obviously, that could make a difference in this match. Well, it always but has, it hasn't is it? It's not the first time Draco's had the odds against him either, Malik. No, because he's an island on to himself. I mean, I'm surprised RT3 and him. I don't know how they're going to work together, uh, actually. Draco would have clinched. Oh, and he makes Dirty Daddy flinch. 
he actually flinched more if we were having a competition like we did in school, right? Dirty Daddy almost jumped out of the ring. He flinched so hard. Now he's taking off that shirt and, and ready to go. I think he's ready to get serious, Malik. Well, well, I think he's frustrated now a little bit with Draco. And, oh, and he's what a go behind there so. by Draco. Up. Oh, and a, a nice reverse there by Dirty Daddy. Are we going to see a little bit of chain wrestling between these two? Well, you definitely can from Draco because he's one of Ricky Morton's prize students Draco here. You know is that. Draco absolutely one of the prize students of SOM here. We've got him, he's got him in a headlock. And he is going to work on Draco now. He's got him in the corner now. Oh, Dirty Daddy shoots him off, but Draco with a little bit of that lucha moves. Ah. Draco up on the second turnbuckle. Oh, but oh. never mind. Dirty Daddy pulls on the foot and he falls right down on the back. But he of his hit head. his head on the top he turnbuckle. He hit his head on the top turnbuckle and then rolled right off. It's like so whip Dirty Daddy. Oh, and Dirty goes to work right on that that upper back and that that lower part of his neck. He's going to work and now he's going to stretch him out a little bit. Oh. Nice, innovative maneuver here as, as he's stretching out that neck of, of Draco. Draco continuing to fight, though. The fans getting behind him, one of the most popular guys here at SOM. Well, that's uh, it's had its moments. I mean, there's no times where he's right turned now, his right back. No, Draco but, is 100% is with these fans. Oh, like, a nice like I said, his, shot his, uh, there to, to Dirty as he backs him up. Draco hits the ropes. Ducks the line. Oh, but he takes the other one. Didn't duck and that Dirty one. Daddy lays him down. And Dirty Daddy is, is on fire at the moment. One, two, Dirty or Draco able to kick out after that huge clothesline. Oh, the knee to that to the small of the back and now. Oh, wait a minute, he's gonna do it again. There's that knee again. Sticking it right in the center of that spine of the back. And there's that double drop kick that Dirty loves so much. One, two. Again, Draco kicking out. Very arrogant. But you can see that he is taking how much longer Draco can go. Oh, wait a minute. Puts the, the point of that elbow right in Draco's throat almost. And he continues to stretch out the neck. Those hammer and anvil elbows that, that he loves to use, but Draco fighting back up. Well, you know, the head is one of the hardest parts of the body. Oh, but he pulls the, the head and pulls him right back down. To the, Malik, you know that's not right. Pulls him down by his hair. Brandon Moore trying to tell the referee he was helping him, but we know he was cheating, uh -oh. just like the Trap House loved to do. And now he's choking him on that bottom rope. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, hey, you knew that was going to happen. The young pit bull getting involved. Brandon Moore choking him on the bottom rope. The ref did not see it. I didn't see anything. Yeah, his trainers all die. day. You know, he's had everybody from Kid Cash uh, to uh, Owens. Uh, and I know he's been through here a lot. Absolutely. We've had many, many people come through and show us the ropes in this company. James Storm, among others, that has been here at SOM. Fans, we want to remind you, if you if there's anybody out there and you're wanting to wrestle, SOM, School of Morton, is the place that you want to come to. Obviously, we have numerous people, not only the Hall of Famer, but we have numerous people that come in. James Storm, Animal, we've had them all oh, man. come through here. The list is, uh, the list is ongoing, list. but Dirty Daddy, uh, he got out of the ring to maybe change the strategy, but he's getting back in now. Uh, are we going to see a test of strength between these two? Well, we talked about frustration earlier, and I think Draco's got a little bit. Oh, oh man, he had control a little bit more. Dirty Daddy with a boot right to the right gut and a punch right to the death, apparently. But once again, Dirty right back on that throat. Draco's got to be struggling for air after being choked twice. By the Draco by the is on bad, bad times right now. Again, with that knee to the spine. Dirty Daddy continuing to work to oh. work on Draco. What a kick there. <laughs> Just a, a mean kick right to the, oh, and an elbow to the point of the back. Dirty Daddy is just working these strikes in, just beating down Draco. 
but Draco continuing to fight back up. He is, he's staying with it. He's got him in that, that sleep, that looks like the million dollar dream a little bit, doesn't it? It does, but it's a nightmare right now for it's Draco. It's a nightmare for Draco, obviously. Draco he's trying, he's trying to get those the fans behind him. He's fighting his way back to his feet though. Oh, but now he's got him in a regular sleeper hold. Drago, he's how long can he rope. hold this? He's cutting off the air supply. How long can Draco continue holding on? You see he's fading oh, he right there. now, Malik. Well, it looks like he might be going out. Might be going to sleep. He's trying to get the fans to call on him, but it looks like Draco might be going night-night. That's one, Hunter, uh, the referee Hunter is trying to see if he's out. Two, if it goes down his third time, Malik. That's it, What it kind does. of advantage would the, but it doesn't go down. The arm stays up, Draco showing he's still got fight. Dirty Daddy can't believe it. But Draco fighting his way back to his feet. Both men still are, this is a five count now. He's up to fast. five and neither man barely, both men barely moving. He's up to six. Are we gonna get a double, oh, I, a double knockout here? We're ending that That's eight, but both, both men are starting to make their way up. Dirty is up to his feet first. Oh, what a clothesline there by Draco. Another clothesline. You know what's coming here. Oh, and a suplex. Oh, here, here uh, it comes. Uh, homage three to the Eddie Amigos. Homage to the one of the greatest, Eddie Guerrero. With the three amigos. Whoop. Oh. Well, that's no bueno for Dirty Daddy. Oh, Draco geez. puts him down for that third suplex. He's. Oh, but he turns it into a, a nice rear naked choke. That's got to be, that's going to be it, Malik. Well, Draco surprises me sometimes. He's just like his tag team partner that he's uh, uh, Draco adopted fighting, here, RT3. Fighting, fighting, He's trying to get his foot. He gets he his foot it. to the rope. That's going to force the break. He's holding it on as long as he can. He held it on for a four count. But by getting to the rope, that forced the break. But how much damage? Oh, my God. Here comes Brandon Moore just laying punches in. He is. Well, I, Cheating just like the trap house is known for. But Draco continuing to fight. Even after the beatdown that he has suffered, he continues to fight back. Oh! Nice innovative he maneuver there. To by, lay in by those strikes, but Draco continues to fight back. Draco not ready to give up just yet. Another punch to the gut. And those double axes to the back. Oh, what a chop there by Draco to the to the to the chest of Dirty Daddy and Dirty firing back with a chop. Now we're gonna have a chop fest back and forth. Oh, here we go. Oh my goodness, who's gonna back down first, Malik? I don't know. Either one will. I don't know. Now we got forearms going, forearms, chops. We got it all going, cause that's what you see here at S O M. Back and forth, back and forth. Wearing each other out, it looks like they're about. Oh, and a double uh, forearm. Out. Both men down. Both men are down, and the referee is gonna is going to employ the ten count here. Dirty, or Brandon Moore trying to get Dirty Daddy up. Both men still are. This is a five count now. He's up to fast. five, and neither man barely. Both men barely moving. He's up to six. Are we gonna get a double oh, wow. a double knockout here? We're ending that That's eight, but both, both men are starting to make their way up. Dirty is up to his feet first. Oh, what a clothesline there by Draco. Another clothesline. You know what's coming here. Oh, and a suplex. Oh, here, here uh, it comes. Uh, homage to the Eddie Amigos. Homage to the one of the greatest, Uno, Eddie Guerrero. Dos, with the three amigos. Whoop. Oh. Well, that's no bueno for Dirty Daddy. Oh, Draco geez. puts him down for that no. third suplex. He's, Never mind. He's going up to the. He's going up to the top. Draco, what's going on right here? Is he going to use that patented swanton of his? No, he's going for the frog splash, but he misses. 
Uh, that's what Dirty happens. Dirty Daddy rolls right out of the way. You take and Draco, high risk. That's why it's called high risk, right? Draco, you can see him holding his gut. Absolutely. That's why they call it the high risk district. Obviously, it's going to cost him. Well, it's costing him now. And Dirty, I think he's going to take advantage of the situation right now. Dirty Daddy will take, take advantage of the situation. That's what he's known for. But Draco did it to himself. He went up to the top for that frog splash. He's trying to get him up. He's dead weight. He goes for the pin. One, two. Okay. And here we go. Right now, he's beating getting him down. Beating oh. Him. oh, what a oh. backbreaker. How much more can he take, Malik? I don't know if he can. He kicks out again at two. Like maybe it would have been best. Continuing to fight is Draco. He is not giving up in this fight. This ref sucks. Brandon Morris, you heard him just now say the referee sucks, but I think the referee's doing a fine job. Are we going to see it? Oh, it looks like he's setting him up for the bow and arrow. He's stretching him out. Never mind. He's out. He's he, out. Draco, is, he's dead weight at the moment. He's laying under the, term, under the rope. Dirty Daddy just continuing to beat on him, but what? He can't keep the man down. Well, what is like it going to take to finally defeat him? It's got to be going through the mind of Dirty Daddy. Keeps on coming back, you know, like even after a nuclear disaster, Draco and RT3 still be crawling been around. While, you know that. They make a great, great tag team. They should call them the oh, zombies. I wouldn't do that, though. He's slapping him in the back of the head. That's appropriate. They're going to be around Halloween here. Oh! Oh! Hey. They're out of nowhere! On his he head. He's a cutter out of nowhere. The cartel cutter. One, two, three. My God. Draco just beat one half of the tag team champions. That's got to mean something going into October 29th. Your winner, Draco. Malik, that's got to give him momentum going into the October 29th tag match for the titles as he just beat one half of the East Tennessee Tag Team Champions. Well, I think that's definitely going to upset the Trap House, so they're going to probably come up with some new strategies before going into the 29th. Are you tired of offering the same old boring merchandise at your gimmick table? Well, you're in luck. Because we proudly present to you a revolution in independent wrestling marketing, the world's greatest toy, Slam Buddy. That's right, you can get your very own custom Slam Buddy. Bash them, throw them, slam them. Your fans won't just flip over Slam Buddies. They'll be doing springboard corkscrew 450 mood assaults. To find out how to make yourself into a custom Slam Buddy by visiting www.slambuddies.com today. Not a flying toy. Moonsaults, boys, were prohibited. SOM Live is presented by Dave Smith Motors. Have your new car delivered right to your front door. Fans, we're back, and my God, what a match there between Draco and Dirty. Like you said, it could have been a main event. Could've it could have been. been a main event match, but fans, if you missed it, Draco just beat one half of the SOM East Tennessee Tag Team Champions. That has got to give them momentum going in to the October 29th main event. What do you think? Well, like I said, I, I think that's great. It's going to be around Halloween, and you got – Draco and you got RT3. They should. They're they're a new tag team. They're called El Zombies El because Zombies. they don't go away. El Zombies. All right. Well, Malik is El calling Zombies. them El Zombies because they're not leaving. But fans, I'm telling you what, that has got to be a major, major gig in the. Well, not only that, but in the whole. I it, mean, everything here at the landscape at SOM has changed so rapidly. So quick, right? Well, I mean, so fast in just the last couple of weeks. It's got to be a chink in the armor, but we're ready to get to our next match. Who, who's that? I haven't heard that music in a I while. I haven't heard that music in a while. Huh, okay. Like you said, you know. Oh, it's Anthony! Malik, an impressive showing last time this kid was in the ring. Yeah, but he lost. He lost to a cat. He did lose to a cat, but like we said, he 
every cat has a defense. Yeah, yeah, every blind dog and every broken watch is right once, at least once a day. Yeah, broken watch is right at least twice. Oh, twice, that's right. Oh, gosh, here comes the insomnia oh, music. Oh, your favorite person. Yeah, and the, yeah. Well, we saw the debut of James Anthony on the last. Oh, here we go. James Anthony jumping the Liberty bell. Kid right off the bat. And here we go. He looks a little perturbed about last week's results. Maybe maybe he's ready to fire back this time. He is not given he is not given reprieve to Liberty Kid since he jumped him in right at the bell. And, oh, a reversal by the Liberty Kid. Oh, and a hip toss. Good looking arm drag there by the Liberty Kid, and he salutes the fans. You know, Malik, I did spend a little bit of time in the military, and I'm going to have to teach that kid how to salute. Like this, right? It is not done like that, and you know that, Malik. But uh, James Anthony, oh, and knee to the gut. And a forearm right to the side of the jaw of the jaw. Oh, a little drop kick there. James Anthony taking off of his feet. Maybe he's a little surprised by this kid, the Liberty kid. Oh, a slip slip. Oh, wait a minute, he's going right to the mask. Now he's choking the man over the ropes. Joe's got to get in there. Well, it, hey, wait a minute. Is he cheering USA? Is he James going against Anthony the USA? Kicking, Captain Conch. He is going against the Liberty Kid, and you know that, Malik. Oh, he's he's choking him underneath the rope. He's telling the, the telling the fans to shut up. A nice jumping back elbow there by James Anthony, a very talented young man. One, two, but he only gets a two count out of it. Yeah. Oh, and a body slam. Elbow to the point of the chest. One, oh, two. Hey, he went Again, for the hook on that one, James didn't he? James Anthony. He hooked the leg on that one, didn't he? He listened to you. He did time. hook the leg. He obviously watched the show last week yeah. after his match. Oh, and he throws Ow. Liberty Kid right outside the ring. He hit the hardest part of the ring, too, didn't James he, Anthony Clever? coming out right after him. That is the hardest part of the ring. We know that. Especially. Double axe handle to the back. Kid right into the, to the steps. Now he puts him into the ring. Head first. Oh, but Kid continues to fight. Liberty's coming at him. Liberty's fighting back. Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, my God. Whoa, that was rough. That looked rough for sure. That was pretty rough there, Mr. Clipper. That was absolutely rough. That is for sure. One, two, but he only gets a two count out of it as he continues to fight. It was, it was a two count. Up, uh, James. Uh, oh, and he double axe handle right to the gut. Wow, Liberty's Liberty coming Kid back here. Shooting him off. Liberty Kid with a splash in the corner. I think it's the most fight ah. we've seen out of this kid. Wow, he's getting fired up, ain't he? He is absolutely getting fired up. He continues to fire him into the corner. Oh, oh. the third splash in the corner. Liberty Kid. Oh, and a body slam of his own. He's calling for the fans. To, he's chanting that USA. Well, that's where we're at in USA. Here's oh, and uh -oh. he's doing those push-ups. Those are He's trying weird. to get Push the fans. Oh, what a salute to Mr. Anthony. One, two. Oh. oh. No, no, no. James Anthony kicking out. We'll see what. We'll see if he's got any fight left in him after that. 
the Liberty Kid got to stay on it. A reversal. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, he fights back. There's a kick to the knee. Oh, oh. and I believe that was what oh, James Anthony calls the shortcut. One, two, three, that's it. Your winner, James Anthony. Fans, I'm going to see if I can get a word here with James Anthony. What an impressive showing. Two weeks in a row, James Anthony. Welcome to SOM. What would you like to say? First of all, I think it's a travesty that it's taken SOM this long to sign James Anthony. These people deserve a real superstar, not some kid. I have one of those SOM championship titles around my waist. Y'all all have a champion you could be proud of. Well, those are some strong words from James Anthony, letting everybody know he's coming after one of those titles. Fans, we'll be back. Hey, Rock and Roll. Yeah. It's been a while since we did our last commercial shoot. I want to congratulate you both on being inducted to the WWE Hall of Fame. Thank you, Chad, and we are grateful to our friends and fans who helped us get there. If you want Hall of Fame, AC, or heating service, call our buddies at American Air Heating and Cooling today. Visit AmericanAironline.com for money saving rock and roll deals. SOM Live is presented by Slam Buddies. Go to slambuddies.com for details. Well, boys, we're just a couple of weeks away from that big street fight with the Amish. What's on your mind, Deathcore? What's on my mind? How about all these mind games they've been playing with us, huh? Yeah. Keep turning their music on, but they're nowhere to be found. That's right. Hmm. Shut up. But look, we're the only ones that are actually showing up. I haven't seen them in forever. So, who's the real one there, Skinner? Well, Death Corps and Ricky, I, I've heard that the Amish might be in the building today. No. Where are they? Did you see? I didn't see no horse buggies. It's not hey, funny. Hey, Ricky, look at that. That's what they are. Hey. On October 29th, they're coming after Betsy, which you have been mistreating all this time. Whoa, whoa. Betsy! Who's mistreating this beautiful chick? That's not this right. thing's That's like a part right. of our family, buddy. That's a false accusation. This is a part of our family. We would never mistreat this beautiful creature. Speaking of family, Speaking of family, one member I notice of the Dooleys is not here. Would you like to comment on that? Oh, Buster's at the beach. Yeah, he's at the beach again. Buster's at the beach again. He's a party. See, for all we know, and here you are making a mockery of it. Now, how does that make you look, huh? Makes you look like a jerk, I'll tell you that. That's a jerk I've ever seen. Well, fans, it seems like the Dooleys are ready for this fight against the Amish, or at least they seem prepared, but every time the chicken goes off, they don't seem it. Fans, we'll be back.
Are you tired of offering the same old boring merchandise at your gimmick table? Well, you're in luck. Because we proudly present to you a revolution in independent wrestling marketing, the world's greatest toy, Slam Buddy. That's right, you can get your very own custom Slam Buddy. Bash them, throw them, slam them. Your fans won't just flip over Slam Buddies, they'll be doing springboard corkscrew 450 mood salts. So find out how to make yourself into a custom Slam Buddy by visiting www.slambuddies.com today. Not a flying toy. Moonsaults, void where prohibited. SOM Live is presented by American Air Heating and Cooling. Fans, we want to thank our sponsors here. American Air, we've already we've yeah. seen their commercial, and just now we've seen Slam Buddies. Guys, and if you need, especially wrestlers, if you need some merchandise, you need to contact Slam little, Buddies. Go to SlamBuddies.com. Bigger bigger. They have three different sizes now yeah. that, little, big that big would be, look good on your merch table. And, ladies and gentlemen, parents, if you have kids, you, you need to get a hold of some of these wrestlers that have them. They are definitely worth the investment, so you need to get out and get those. Malik, hey. the Dooleys don't seem, they still seem jumpy over that. You, you guys are just playing little games with somebody back there keeps on playing. I ain't Amish playing games music. with anybody. I, they tried to accuse me. I didn't do anything. I think after they spit in your face, you've been kind of like kind of sabotaging things. I haven't guys. been messing with them, but I'm telling you what, they've got a, they've got the popper to pay when the when the Amish get back in here. But right now, fans, we're gonna get to our next match, which we saw last week. We saw these two as a tag team, but now we're gonna see where that went. You mean they, 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 they broke up is what you're saying. Well, broke up is, is broke up's the, the small way to say it, especially considering Tyler Foshi jumped off the apron and left his tag yes, partner. Guy. No, she bought. Yeah. The following hey. contest is scheduled hey. for one fall. That's why he got mad. You need to say his name. Introducing first, Tyler Fushi. Apparently, he didn't like that one either, Malik. Well, sometimes third time is the charm, you know. You got sometimes you gotta you gotta fill the room out, you know. You gotta get, get the right feeling and. That's right, see? see? There you go. Oh, these fans are crazy down here, aren't they? He's crazy. What does that say on his shirt? Sounds like a truck commercial. So, hey, tell the fans. And his opponent. Malik, this guy apparently has been wrestling since since the 80s. Well, I tell you what, I, I tell you when he started wrestling, they were actually writing the Bible. They were still writing the Bible. Yeah. Okay, all right. So he was around when the Dead Sea was just sick. <laughs> uh, that was a pretty good one there, Malik. He farted uh, and some Tyler dust Foshi came out. Is, is, he he might have some rust came out. Drug and it is on. Foshi oh. obviously a little bit faster than this man, and he's going to use that speed again. And a kick to the leg Dang. again. He needs, he's taking advantage of a senior citizen in there. Ah, uh, come on now, you and your senior citizen. Ah, look, Foshi rolling to the outside. He might be getting taught a lesson here is what you're trying to say. Mr. Excellent wanting to, to, to show him, take him to the woodshed, if you will. I know what that means. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, I was going to say. Uh, Malik, I'm not sure. They'd have, they'd have probably had to cart me out of here if that would have happened. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, wait a minute. Mr. Excellent going to the outside, going after Foshi. But Foshi rolling right back in and right back out. He's going to get the cardio on here. We're going to. The referee well, should be counting. Back him up. Instead, he's backing up the wrestler. Foshi back in the ring. 
He wants to take his shirt off. There we go. The fans want him to put it back on. He throws it at Mr. Excellent, but he blocks. Oh, oh, blocks another uh -oh. one. Wait a minute. Oh, a jumping what four. The hell? Wow. That was pretty impressive. Now he goes right to the gut and another jumping forearm. Excellent hits the ropes. Oh! Ole. A double clothesline, but we got to see right there. Mr. Excellent, a big feller and a drop kick to the back. Woo, drop kick from hell. Yeah, a drop kick from something. Look like hell. I mean, as I was about to say. Oh, what a shot go. right to the face of Tyler Foshi. Mr. Excellent. And another shot. Oh, he's, a, he's excellent. What, what, what in the world? He's standing, raking his eyes. And an elbow to the top of the he head. He said the hell with it, right? <laughs> <laughs> he said, I'll show you how we do it old school. He's taking the board to the woodshed, like I said. But Boshi reversing and trying to drag him into the corner. I moved the oh, ring. Oh, there's that jumping forearm once again. And now he's something joking him, I believe. Now he's putting his leg on the rope and he's pulling on the leg, stretching out that leg on the rope. Now he's choking him and pushing back on the head. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, ah come on now. Come on. I've seen better chops than that. I've seen better chops than that. At the chopsticks. At the chop house. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, at the, while I was eating the other night, my chopsticks right. did better than that. Absolutely. And he goes to shoot him off, but a reversal. Foshi takes the buckle. Uh oh. Mr. Excellent done said you messed up, pal. Messed up. Now he's going. He goes for it. Oh, and he nails the suplex. Uh oh, he said he's sick and tired he of it. He's sick and tired. One, two. He hooked the leg, but it took him a second. That might have been what cost him the mat what cost him that win yeah, he right needs there. To get fired up, you know? Now he's oh he's got him up on the shoulders. What are we gonna see? Never mind, folks. Fire him back. Fire those elbows in. Oh no. Wait a minute. Oh, Foshi rolls him up. Holding the truck. He's holding the tights. He had the tights, but he wins the match. Here's your winner, Tyler Foshi. What about your cheek? Are you seeing something with them glasses? I thought you got glasses to fix that problem. I didn't do nothing wrong. I won. The object of the game is to win, and that's what I've done. But I heard that SOM returns on the 29th, and on that night it's their Halloween show. And who knows what I have plans for. Maybe some, maybe some gold, or maybe Maybe I'll beat Mr. Excellent number two. Who knows? Be here to find out. Well, fans, we're going to have to be here to find out on October 29th what Foshi's plans are. We'll be back. Woo! Rick Flair of American Flair Heat in the Court. But Rick, I thought we'd gone over this. It's American Air, not Flair. But, Chad, it sounds so much better. American Flair Heat in the Court. Woo! Rick, it's American Air. Hey, this ain't no garden party. This is here, heating and cooling, where only the strong survive. Well, he is the man, and for service Woo! you can trust, call American Air Heating and Cooling. You'll be glad that you did. Woo! That's a Woo! Shout -out. American Woo! Air. Woo! Look hey, at you know him what? there. Rick Flair, he's got. Rick Flair drip. If you're interested, if you know what that means, you know what that means. Well, we're not obviously not we're, we're not anyway, promoting Rick Flair drip on here. What did However, you think about what just happened here? American it's a full Air. Moon here it, on it was definitely a full moon here at 505 Live at the School of Morton. Woo! But Foshi picks up a win, and and then you heard in the interview he's coming after some gold possibly. I guess we'll find out. Or he said he could beat Mr. Excellent again. You know he thinks he can beat everybody. Well, he does think he can beat everybody, but fans, coming up next, we've got an interview. The man has already said he called him out last week. Let's see what he's got to say this week. Welcome to the ringside area, Cousin Condry.
Well, Cousin Condry, last week you made the challenge to the Sultan for an Inferno match. Have you heard anything from the Sultan or his camp? I haven't heard nothing from the Sultan yet, but I got something for him. Whether he accepts it or not, I'm going to find him. Me and him, we're going to get a little payback, a little... I'm going to ask you again. Do you accept, or am I going to have to come find you? Oh! Well, maybe you don't have to wait too long, Condry. Stay over there. Stay over there. Looks like they're trying to play some mind games with you there, Condry. They've done tore up my face, put me in this mask permanently. Mind games aren't going to work with me. They're going to have to try something better than that. Sultan, accept the challenge, or I'm going to come find you. Well, Malik, we know that at one time you represented the Sultan. What can you tell us? We still don't have an answer. Well, sometimes you need to stay in your own lane, okay? And sometimes answers will happen when they happen. I'm not going to say any more on that. Conjury, I mean, you put out the offer. You put out the challenge. We'll just let it go as it does. How about that, Clipper? Is that good enough for you? Well, I believe that's the only thing we can do. We're just waiting on the Sultan to answer about that Inferno match. He'll but, fans, we are ready for an amazing main event here as we're going to see yet again the Trap House and the other half of that tag team, Draco and RT3. We've oh, already yeah. seen Draco defeat one half of okay. the East Tennessee champions. What happens if RT3 beats the other half? Are you talking about El Zombies? Draco and RT3, the cockroaches of the world, the uh, people that will be here for eternity? Apparently, that's what you've named them, El Zombies. But either way, we're going to find out here in just a second Who's going to win this second match? Will it give them the momentum they need going into that October 29th match? Fans, let's go to the ring. Round huh. for, uh, for his match. We'll see. I'll, we'll see. But I, I think the Dirty, I mean, Dirty Daddy's probably going to come out here with him, right? Or is he going to be by himself? Yep, there we go. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, he is one half of the East Tennessee SOM Tag Team Champions, accompanied to the ring by Dirty Daddy, the Young Pitbull, Brandon Moore. Well, Malik, whether they got the titles or not, they are still the SOM East Tennessee Tag Team Champs. But I don't think that matters too much to the, the trap house right now. There he is. He's by himself. And his opponent. T three. Oh, and he has the belt. Look at that. I believe what you're actually looking for is possession is nine tenths of the law. However, well, he know, does sometimes. have the title with him. He's wearing it around his waist. But October 29th, whether he's wearing it in, around his waist right now or not, only the time will tell whether he gets to keep it around his waist. Well, the 29th is when the when all that will be answered. So many. So many things are going to be kind of wrapped up. And then, so know, many things that we've got. October 29th, apparently, Foshi coming for some gold. We know that 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 uh, Cousin Condry is calling out the Sultan. What an amazing night of action it's going to be. Fans, don't miss it. Right here at the Chucky Dome School of Morton. I happen to know what title that Foshi's looking for uh, in particular. It's the hybrid title. Hmm. I well, haven't heard not. that, but I, apparently maybe you've got some information. Yeah, I, I don't know. This match is on, and RT3 and and Brandon Moore. Oh, wow. oh, RT3 overpowers him immediately and pushes him into the corner. RT3 looks a little upset. Oh, and he punches him. He's he, he is oh, not man. letting him out of that corner at all. Continues to fire on him, and he bails him out of the corner. Throws his ass. RT3 showing that power. Oh, but Brandon oh. Moore showing the intelligence brace. with a kick right to the. Oh, the Samoan! Oh. He hit him with the Samoan drop. One, 
Woo! Oh, but he kicks out at two. Dirty Daddy about to have a cow right outside the ring here. You can see him. He was ready to jump in the ring. You couldn't believe it. RT3 got him up. Looks like a, looks like that. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, and he takes out the leg of RT3. Oh, man. Obviously, if he can't stand, the power doesn't matter. That's Splash right. right to the knee, and he continues to work right on that knee. Oh, a sing oh I started to say a single leg muscle ah, cramp, but go. instead he's going for an STF, STF type of maneuver, but he's got him down. RT3 reaching for the rope. He's trying to Benoit, right? RT3 is reaching. Ah, he he finally rope. got the rope. That means he's got to break the hold. Continuing to work that leg, RT3 can't stand, which means the power game doesn't matter. And Brandon Moore showing that 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 side, that attitude uh, that he has got now, that he's with the trap house and Dirty Daddy. Honestly, Dirty Daddy's been teaching him some of the tricks. Well, some people would say he has a bad attitude. I just think he has a new attitude. I think well, it's he maybe does have a new attitude, obviously. He's got him. He's got him in that in that leg hold, and RT3 again crawling to the ropes, and again the break is forced. But he, how much damage is done to the leg in the time that he was allowed? Of course, oh, with the, I, of course the other I half of the trap that house. You can't knew that it. was gonna happen. Yeah, and of course I'm watching the monitor, and of course we all saw it. There's no denying it. Oh, uh, there you go. That definitely shows that he's learned some stuff from Dirty. But, but it goes right back to the leg. But head referee Joe did not see it. He's got him in a single leg Boston Crab or a version of. And RT3 reaching once again, trying to reach to get to that term, to that bottom rope. Nope. RT3 holding that foot, holding that knee. He may half, not be able to get up. Well, half of El Zombies are looking pretty bad right now. Referee Joe is up to three. Oh, but he gets in the ring. Brandon Moore with a nice little forearm right there. And a club to the back. Oh, just a straight shot to the face oh, he was there. Right in the head. Oh, and he shoots him in hard. One, two, RT3 oh. kicking out at two. Brandon Moore continuing to, to. We're just talking about Ric Flair. Oh, yeah. Now we got the figure four on in the ring. There you go. And he's holding the rope. I think referee might have seen him. I don't know. Yeah, really. You got to think that that brace referee, makes a big difference. The referee you know? has got to break the hold. He turned around and saw him holding the rope. <sighs> Uh, but Brandon Moore waiting at uh, that young pit bull. Oh, and the young pit bull him. takes out the leg again. Yeah, RT3's had that happen in football a couple times. Obviously, he's had that leg clipped out from under him in football a few times. Brandon Moore. That's Brandon a chink Moore in his armor. You know that. that. Locking up that leg. Oh, and, oh just a curb stomp right, to the, right into the, the back and face of, of RT3. One, two, but continuing to fight is RT3. Just what? like I think he just knocked the wind out of him too with that stomp in his Rake back. Right to the eyes on RT3. Oh, in and the a face. boot to the face. He just kicked him right in the face. Now he shoots RT3 off. Oh, a German suplex there. Oh, wait a, wait a minute. He's right back ah! out. Wow, he jumped and closed wow. 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 inside out. Oh, out. my God. He turned Brandon Moore inside out. <laughs> I he's, thought he lost his head. He can't capitalize on it, though, Malik. <laughs> he looked like he was decapitated for he a second. He can't capitalize on it, Malik. Wow. That's the problem. <laughs> RT3 trying to get the fans behind him. Brandon Moore has definitely been shook up by the, oh, Whoa. what a dip up. Still, that might not have been good to do that. Close line. RT3 is showing some, he's got that second win going. Bomb buster. Is that it? One, two. Oh, but Brandon Moore kicks out at about two and a half. Just this like match that. is not over, but let me tell you, I thought RT3 had it right there. He's He thought he had it. But you know what comes right after that spine buster. Yes. Unfortunately, Everybody's I do. Everybody's going to try to pin him again. 
And only gets a two count. You ever been hit with one of his spears? I, a few times. <laughs> it ain't cool, is it? They weren't extraordinary, let me tell you. But here we go. RT3 setting up in the corner, and he's calling for it. Man, he's hurting if his knees. If he hits this, it. this has got to be it. Dirty's trying to tell him over there. He's trying to tell him smart Dirty's up. Dirty's trying to warn Brandon Moore. Oh! He hits a knee right that's to it, the that's face. It, that's it. Out of that, that spear. One, two. Oh, but he kicks out at the last second. RT3 kicks out at the last second, and that's not going to be it. Brandon Moore cannot believe it after the knee that's to the dirty. face. With that, with the momentum he was getting. He's a cockroach. He won't go away. <laughs> Zombie like a, like a roach or whatever you want to call him. Yes. RT3 is not going to give up. I thought that was it, Malik. So did Mr. Moore, and it's not. It wasn't. Brandon Moore obviously thought that was it with that knee to the face out of the spear, but he kicked out at two and – and three quarters, it was almost over with, but now he's trying to use the rope, and just like his partner, he is not going to give up the fight. Brandon Moore with a nice chop there. And another one. Another chop. And he shoots RT3 off. RT3 goes for a close one. A duck. Oh, but he hits a spear. That's got to be it, Malik. But he can't, he can't to, capitalize. He's, to it. he's got to pull him over. Oh, hey, Dirty that's Daddy it. stops that's the it. match. Dirty Daddy jumps in the ring. That's going to stop the match, obviously. But Dirty Daddy is on top of, of RT3. Dirty Daddy is landed into RT3. You got to wonder where his tag partner is. Draco, it, he's got to be He's got to be in the back. Brandon Moore and Dirty Daddy doing a number on RT3, and here comes Draco! And there goes the trap house. Man, they just took off again, huh? Draco coming out and, and trying to defend. He, you notice that he brought that tag title with so him. the 29th is coming soon, soon. Dirty Daddy. Hey, what you just saw was us getting revenge. Yeah, we won this match. We won this match. You can't beat us. We've proven right here, right now, that you two can't beat us. So call it a damn way you're going to take our titles away from us. Huh? You got We got a tag title. October 29th. Winners take both of them. Because I don't think y'all man enough to get in the ring trying to take this from me or Draco right here, right now. Well, fans, you uh, yeah, heard it right it here. Twin. October 29th, they're going to put those belts up. It's going to be. Well, they have well, half. They have half. Walk out. Fans, thanks for joining us here on SOM 505 Live. We'll see you next week.